Mtazamaji vijana milioni tisa nukta tisa na zaidi walijisajili kwa wapigia kura mwaka huu. Hii kiwa ni asilimia hamsina moja ya sajili ya IEBC. Ikizingatiwa kuwa asilimia sabina tano ya wakenya ni vijana. Basi huenda wanasiasa wamegundua nguvu moto na jukumu la vijana katika siasa. Lakini swali ni je vijana wanatumiwa wanajitumia ama ni hao wanazitumia siasa kujikweza vileleni bila kuwajali wenzao vijana wenzao ndio maswala ambayo tutakuwa tunajadili leo mbali na taarifa zetu kutoka maeneo mbali mbali nchini nitakuwa na Joy Brenda Mdivo naye Henry Ochanga ukipenda Octopizo namba nane kujadili maswala ya vijana na siasa katika kivumbi 2017 lakini kwanza wacha nikupe vidokezo wa yale yaliomo Muungano wa NASA sasa kutoa mwelekeo wake hapo kesho baada ya kuahirishwa kwa tangazo hilo la leo. Mahakama Kuu ya Dinda kusimamishwa kuratibiwa na kuapishwa kwa Martin Wambora kwa gavana Embu. Because we have not received an official letter, first of all can you confirm that that is your letter? Na baada ya kufutiliwa mbali kwa shughuli zake KHRC sasa yasema haijapokea barua rasmi kwa hilo. Na mtazamaji karibu tena jina langu Lofti Matambo na pia nakuhusisha katika mitandao ya kijamii swali tumekuuliza je unadhani vijana wanaelewa jukumu lao katika ulingo wa siasa mtazamaji je unadhani kwamba vijana wanaelewa jukumu lao katika ulingo wa siasa ndio au la sema nami at Loft Matambo at KTN News hashtag ni kivumbi 2017 na tukianza taarifa zetu ni kwamba muungano wa NASA sasa wanasema utatangaza mwelekeo wake kwa wakenya hapo kesho baada ya kuahirisha mkutano huo uliotarajiwa kufanyika hii leo haya yameshuhudia ama yametolewa katika taarifa saa chache kabla ya kutimu kwa wakati ambao taarifa yao ilikuwa inatarajiwa kwa wakenya kama alivyotangaza mwishoni ama kama ilivyotangaza NASA mwishoni wa Juma Juma iliyopita kufuatia kupinga matangazo ya urais yaliyotangazwa na tume ya uchaguzi guzi IEBC nikinukuu taarifa yao ni kwamba Uh, taarifa hiyo ambayo tuko nao utaiona pale katika kiwambo chetu ambayo NASA inasema kwamba kufuatia shughuli nyingi ambazo wako nazo katika kushulikia swala hili basi huenda hawataweza kutoa taarifa hii leo lakini taarifa hiyo itatolewa rasmi hapo kesho hii ni kwa mujibu wa Msalia Mudavadi ambaye ni mmoja wa vinara wa NASA na taarifa ndio hiyo katika runinga yako inasema kutokana na dharura pamoja na uzito wa maswala ambayo jupu la NASA linayashughulikia ambayo kwa sasa tunaweza kuripoti kwamba mazungumzo yanakwenda vyema basi tunasikitika kwamba taarifa yetu ambayo ilitarajiwa kutolewa hii leo haitaweza kutolewa lakini taarifa hiyo itatolewa hapo kesho kwa wakenya na vyombo vya habari hiyo ni taarifa ya Msalia Mudavadi ambaye ni msimamizi wa kampeni za kitaifa za NASA. Tukisonga mbele magavana 47 waliochaguliwa kwenye uchaguzi mkuu wa Jumanne iliyopita wataanza kuapishwa mnamo Alhamisi hadi wiki ijayo. Kwa mujibu wa ratiba ya Wizara ya Ugatuzi wa kwanza kuapishwa atakuwa gavana mteule wa Machakos Daktari Alfred Mtoa na mwenzake wa Mandera Ali Roba Waziri Mwangi Kiunjuri amesema kwamba mawaziri husika watatembelea katika kaunti mbalimbali kuanzia hapo kesho kufanya mipango maalum ya kuweza kuapishwa kwa magavana hao. So like to specifically congratulate the 47 governor elect and members of the county assemblies who are waiting to be sworn in. Their success is a sure sign that the electorate has faith in them. In Mobasa, uh, we have the governor-elect, that is Hassan Joho. Proposed date will be August 22nd, 2017, at Mamagena Drive. Kwale, Salim Vuria, 21st uh, of August, 2017, at Kwale, Balaza Park. In Kilivi, Amazon King the same date 27 uh, 21st of August 
2017 at Kalisa Maitha Gardens. We have Tanalifa, uh, Godana, the same date, Hora Stadium. Mtazamaji kwingineko mahakama kuu katika kaunti ya Embu adhuria leo imedinda kusimamisha kwa muda kuratibiwa kwenye gazeti la serikali na hata kuapishwa kwa gavana mteule wa Embu Martin Wambora. Hakimu Florence Mushemi kwenye uamuzi wake ametaja ombi la seneta na yondoka kwa sasa leni kivuti kuwa la dharura na kumtaka kuwasilisha ombi hilo kwa tume ya uchaguzi IEBC na wahusika wengine kwenye kesi. Amesema malalamishi ya kivitu ya kivuti kundradhi a, ni ya dharura sana na inaweza kusikilizwa na mahakama inayosikiliza rufaa ya uchaguzi na wala sio mahakama ya kikatiba move to gazette the interested party the honorable martin nyago mbora as the governor of embu county anytime and that is the first ground of urgency unless this court gives a proper direction with respect to the provision of Form 37As and Bs. The application will be had in Tapatis on the 18th of August 2017, and that the respondent and the interested party be served with this application and the petition and to file their responses within three days. We wanted the materials, the electoral materials, preserved by court so that it is not interfered with. As we have heard in the past, that some people went to Runyenges and poured water in the ballot boxes. Mtazamaji tukisalia na mchakato huo wa magavana kuapishwa. Shilingi milioni kumi zimetengewa sherehe za kuapishwa kwa gavana mteule wa Nakuru li kinyanjui. Sherehe hiyo imepangiwa kuandaliwa katika uwanja wa muonyesho ya kilimo ya Nakuru. Ambapo itaanza na maombi jumatatu ijayo. Miongoni mwa wageni waalikwa ni gavana anayondoka kinuthia mbugwa katika kaunti hiyo ya Nakuru. Yeah, yeah, this is some, the assumption, the assumption that we call ourselves all the tariffs with the bonus again. We are going to have this swearing in, uh, swearing in of the new governor uh, at, uh, at, uh, at the showground, uh, and it will be on the 21st of August uh, 2017. We are also having our governor, that is the, the outgoing governor, Sir Excellence Kinodi Ambugwa, who will be in place to hand over uh, the tools of power uh, to the governor-elect now to carry on the mantle of, uh, of running or being the CEO of Nakuru County. Mtazamaji hapa Nairobi tume ya kutetea haki za kibina Adam ya KHRC sasa inasema haijapokea rasmi barua kuhusu kufuti mbali kwa leseni ya kuhudumu hapa nchini Kenya kwenye kikao na wanahabari imetaja njama ya bodi ya kudhibiti mashirika hayo ya ya kiserikali inaongozwa na Fazul Muhammad kutaka kuwahangaisha makuangacha tume hiyo, tume hiyo kuhusiana na misimamo yake viongozi katika tume hiyo wanamini kuwa huenda hatua ya fazuli ni kutokana na shughuli ama na hatua ya tume hiyo kutaka kuungana na mashirika mengine kuwasilisha kesi mahakamani kupinga uchaguzi wa rais uliotangazwa mnamo Ijumaa We have seen in the media a document that refers to a deregistration of ourselves because we have not received an official letter first of all can you confirm that that is your letter and if you confirm that that is your letter please give us a copy so that we can then take our actions. So Fazul Mohammed is the quintessential attention seeker. He can't do without attention for even one minute, and he creates ways of finding attention every time. When he is not finding attention or seeking attention by phony uh, purported deregistrations, he seeks it by creating a category of awards for best performing NGOs, and he gives that to the Songo Rescue Team. He gives the next one to uh, the First Lady, that kind of... At, he can't do without attention. 
So everything must, must revolve around him, either lashing at supposed enemies of the establishment or upholding establishment leaning organizations and telling them. So he has set up uh, an, award, an award system and he has awarded only two NGOs and they are those two. Uh, I mean, and then he has also been banning NGOs. And which ones has he banned? The Kalonzo Musioka Foundation, the Evans Kidero Foundation, the Kenya Human Rights Commission, AFRICOG. Do we need to say more about that, that method of regulation? There's na msante sana na kwa taarifa hiyo mtazamaji nitakuwa nakusanya na kuondoka na virago vyangu kuelekea upande wa pilo studio ambapo nitakuwa najiunga na Joy Brenda na taraji pia muda wote kutoka sasa atakuwa Octopizo namba 8 anajiunga nasi ni mwanamuziki huyu lakini zaidi pia anahusika sana na masuala ya kuhamasisha umahaswa vijana leo tukiwa tunajadili nguvu za vijana nguvu moto za vijana 